All right, honey, where are we going today? You gonna tell them where we're going? We're going to Home Depot to Home get Depot. grass slushies. And get slushies. I'm looking for some L brackets to attach some new wood studs to our trailer. Then I can secure the, the studs like that, the new wood studs to the metal studs. For securing these brackets to the metal, I already got some self-tapping screws. Um, but for securing these brackets to the wood, I picked up one and a quarter inch screws. These are the ones I used for the first five or six studs we put in. And I'll show you, I'll show you later why they caused a little bit of an issue. Um, but they cost half as much because I only need two of them per stud. So they're 65 cents a piece. We need to get about 40. These were the first clips I was using to attach the studs. And what I didn't like about them was that this little piece of metal here, if, if the wood was flush with the aluminum, then this piece, piece of metal would um, come out above the aluminum and it really needs to be flush. So when I put those, those in, I had to hit that top flange with a hammer. And then I switched to these types of clips, these L brackets, and you see how that's installed? The wood's flush and nothing's sticking out above the wood. And that's perfect for installing flooring. This flooring, this, this wood that's going on, it's really thin. So even if, even if that metal, one of those flanges there, is sticking out a sixteenth of an inch or less, if it's sticking out at all, then you're gonna see it in the in the subfloor, and I don't want that. So that's why I bought these other clips, and they seem to be working a lot better. So I've just made my stud. See how I put those L brackets on there? And now, now I can fasten it in right like that. I'm using self-tapping screws against the aluminum and I'm just going to screw screw that in there, screw this end in and then that stud will be good to go.